doesn't go anymore. We'll have to push it. It's 8.30 and trainee car mechanic Louise Upton is opening up for the day. Louise uses life skills, literacy, numeracy and ICT to help her with her job. And later in the programme, you can go online to develop these skills for yourself. Look out for the web address coming up. My role here is to generally repair any vehicle that comes in, help with MOTs, do any servicing. I also have to answer the telephone quite a lot, um, meet any customers that come in, help them with anything that they require. Yes, I come to pay my bill. Oh, OK, come on through to the office. I do quite a bit of paperwork along with it. Um, so I do all the invoicing and I take care of all the parts that we have delivered and I also am responsible for um, ordering the parts. Thanks OK, so no problem. Okay, See you again. Okay, what I'm doing now is I'm just having a look through the diary to see what we've got booked in for today. I've got a full service booked in and the full service also needs an MOT. Part of my job first thing in the morning is to organise all the parts for the next day um, so that the parts are here ready for us to do the job first thing in the morning as soon as it comes in. I work for my parents, which can be difficult sometimes, but on the whole we get on really well. We do specialise in Porsches, which is good and it's really interesting to work on. Um, but having said that, we work on all vehicles. Um, we aren't fussy, new, old, whatever. I need to find a part for one of our Porsches that we have out in the yard. To do this, I go on an online site um, which has a database of all of the Porsche parts um, and I can find the right number for the part that we need and ring them up and order it. What we're looking for today is a piece of trim um, which is a rubber strip that goes along the side of a Porsche sill. I have to select the vehicle. The vehicle is a 911 Carrera 2, which is just here. And then we just flick through until we find the right picture here showing the part that we need. Here it is, the part that we need. It's this strip that goes along here and the clips behind that hold it on. So now I can select the numbers and it gives me the part numbers that I need to order. Now that I've found the part, I can ring through and make the order. MOT, okay. I've left the certificates just on the side. Lovely, brilliant. Yeah. At the moment I can't do MOTs because I'm not fully qualified and I haven't taken the tests to become an MOT tester. So Brian's going to do the MOT and I will do the service. Okay. Brian needs an assistant for the MOT to help test all the, the lights and braking systems, um, which I will help him do. Okay, can you do the lights? Okay. Switch your lights off. I think I've always had a general interest in, in the motor trade, um, obviously because I've been brought up in it. I left school, I'd achieved 10 GCSEs, and then I went on and I did my A-levels. Um, so I achieved three A-levels and one AS level. Put your handbrake on and off. And decided that actually what I really wanted to do was work okay. in the garage. The exhaust is blowing from the front flexi. Yeah. So we need to order one of those. If you can just try the uh, wheel for me then. Yep. Yeah. I just decided that if I really like to work in the family business, which I do, that I needed to actually be qualified to do it. Okay. It's like corrosion on a metal brake pipe. On that. Okay. I couldn't just come in and answer the telephone and do some paperwork. I needed to actually be really useful. And the only way that I could think of doing that was to be able to fix a car and, and do the hands-on part as well. Um, that's just the probe that goes into the exhaust pipe um, and it then takes all the readings back up to the computer. What Brian does 
So now is he just revs the engine to with to a certain limit? Let's just check the exhaust. That's in as far as it'll go. The computer has failed the vehicle on the emissions. But what we do know is that the vehicle has an exhaust leak. Um, so we need to fix this problem before we can retest and pass the vehicle for its MOT. Well, if you could drive back to him on the service ramp but, and check your exhaust or what part you need to order, the front pipe or the flex in. Okay. okay. Well, the first thing that we need to do underneath the vehicle is to find the part number for the exhaust, the part of the exhaust that we need so that we can get that ordered and hopefully get that out this afternoon. This is the part that we need to order. So what I'll do is I'll grab the catalogue and we can have a look through and find which part it is that we need. So this is our, our book that we use here. We keep it up here with all the other information books, catalogues that we use. Um, they all contain quite a lot of data that we use every day. So we're looking for Rover 416. Right, looks similar to something like this. So what we'll do is we'll go over to the vehicle and see if we can see anything that might help us in, in picking our exhaust. OK, so I found the exhaust. Um, now we need to go and order it. Right, what I have here is my service checklist um, and I'm just going to work my way through it and just make sure that everything's okay with the car. So at the moment, I'm just going to pop the bonnet and uh, have a look underneath. This is just a, a regular full service um, where we change all of the, the filters. And, and the plugs, and we take the brakes apart as well. At 12 o'clock, everyone stops for lunch. It's time for a sandwich and a chat about the jobs of the day. Turbo engine out, the right. top workshop. But in the motor trade, there's no time to sit back. Louise manages a quick cup of tea before the afternoon delivery arrives with the part she's been waiting for. Today's one box for you today. Lovely. I think the best part about my job is meeting all the different people. Yeah, please. Okay. So we're doing for the rest of the day busy. I love being able to, to speak to lots of people every day. So I'll carry on and drain the oil out and change the oil filter. The worst part about my job is you do get really, really dirty and it takes ages to get clean when you get home. At the moment, I'm still at college where I do block release. So I go to college for a week and then I work in the workshop here for six weeks. No day is the same. Um, there's always something different coming in. There's always a, even if you're servicing, each car is different. So you can never guarantee what you're going to be doing um, or what problems you might find. I find college brilliant. I love what they teach you there. I think the theory is absolutely fantastic, which is especially useful when you come to diagnose a problem. I really enjoy the practical side. For example, we get to take apart gearboxes and engines, which in the workshop here is more economical for us to send them away for a specialist to look at. You then see exactly what's happening as you're changing gear or as the pistons are moving. 
what I do is I, I, um, I do these up by hand first of all and then once it's on the floor um, I then use a torque wrench um, and tighten them to the manufacturer's specification. Okay, now I need to torque up the wheels. So I need to find the manufacturer's specified set setting, um, which I find in my auto data book, which as you can see by the state of it gets used loads. Um, so if I find the vehicle, um, which I have here, Rover 416, just here it tells me that the, the wheel nuts need to be torqued to 110 newton meters. Unfortunately, my torque wrench is in pounds per foot, so I need to convert the newton meters into pounds per foot. So, okay, so 110 newton meters using the calculation converts it to pounds per foot, which rounded up is 80 pounds per foot. I can now set my torque wrench to 80 pounds per foot. It's just there and tighten it up so that it can't move. And then we can tighten the wheels. Cheers. Okay. We've got our new exhaust. Right, I'll get Josh to give me a hand and we can put it all back together. Josh, can I have a hand a minute? There's no real reason why um, a female can't do this job. Obviously, I'm never going to be as strong as a man might be. You don't always need strength. There are tools that you can use to get around certain difficulties so that isn't really a problem all right yeah. i think it would be great to see more female mechanics um as long as you have the right frame of mind and you're strong-willed and you you know that this is what you want to do there's no reason why you won't get there a service is now all finished um it's past the mot and it's ready to go back to the customer The most rewarding part of my job is that when a customer brings their car in and they have a problem, um, is actually being able to find it, solve it and give it back to them and they're happy with it. Um, and you get a great sense of job satisfaction from actually being able to fix something and make it work again. I do enjoy my job, it's brilliant. I love it a bit. Okay, that's everything for the day. Um, close up the doors and I'm off home.